everyone. Thanks for making the left turn. I'm George Favar, and this is a special report about the new Duval County Courthouse. Uh, it's been 12 years in the making, but we finally have a new courthouse, which is set to open uh, in May uh, this month, uh, as far as I know. Uh, there's been some controversy, so let's talk about the controversy, and let's talk about the courthouse in the environment uh, in which uh, it was built. Uh, you know, I'm right here on Clay Street, and uh, you know, the the courthouse um, was the old courthouse, or what I'm now calling the old courthouse, which is still functioning, uh, is that on the river, it was built in the 1950s, and now here's our brand new courthouse. And I want to um, talk uh, at first about the controversy of the uh, that started from the time that it was approved by Duval County voters uh, in 2000 under the Better Jacksonville plan, and then we'll move on to talking about some more things. Uh, you know, uh, what's interesting about the courthouse is that it was a, originally planned to have had a dome, uh, and so uh, we did not end up with a dome. Uh, we ended up with what we have here. Uh, and, you know, uh, there was a lot of controversy with the construction, the contracting. I believe there was, of course, ironically, there were some legal actions. Uh, so what we've ended up with 12 years later, you know, it's great that they finally got it completed. But unfortunately, it's been marred by some controversy. Uh, you know, for such a multi-million dollar facility that's been built, and it, you know, it's, I call it the Taj Mahal Courthouse. And, you know, it isn't really scaled generally to what's around it, and you'll see that in a moment. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's good looking. You know, what can I say? But, you know, with all of that spent uh, on the construction, the design, the construction, uh, they, they forgot to spend enough uh, on the furniture to fill all the rooms. Uh, you know, so uh, they didn't want to bring over, um, uh, you know, furniture from the 1950s uh, courthouse out on the river because it's old furniture, some of it uh, damaged or whatever. Uh, but they didn't project out properly, but they spent five million dollars, five million dollars of taxpayer dollars on furniture. Well, right now before the council uh, is a vote uh, to, uh, to override the mayor's veto to spend $750,000 on more furniture for the courthouse for some hearing rooms, I believe, on the seventh floor. So, you know, I don't know. I think, and I guess I've been thinking about this for a while, and you know, there was a lot of grandiose notions and grandiose thought. You know, it was the go-go, uh, late go-go 90s. It was that end of the tech boom. It was 2000. It was the 21st century. And so, you know, we get what we get. But what I'd like to, first of all, but what I'd like to first of all say is that, and I do hope that with all the construction behind us, that it will be open this month. <laughs> but what I'd like to say, though, is that Let's look, first of all, at the environment of which this building was built. I remember the, uh, the old federal building, and it is still the federal building, but I guess you, know, you, I guess you call it what you call it. Uh, but I grew up you know, uh, here in Jacksonville, and I remember one of my first uh, memories is of this building, uh, the federal building, uh, which has you know, federal agencies and things like that. Uh, and you know, this is around the area that the old Sears on the river was uh, built in the 50s, early 60s. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, of course that was torn down and, you know, we have a parking garage, we have the, uh, the courthouse, and uh, we have this parking lot, which, uh, as you can see, is uh, actually seen better days. Not a lot of foresight happens in Jacksonville. If you actually look very closely, and I find this fascinating, you can see actually the brick, some brick here decayed brick. Interesting anyway. So we have our we have a brand new courthouse. As you can see all the parking meters. Nice parking garage though. But as you can see here, not a lot of foresight put into what would be in front of it. Uh, you have wow an ancient old building here. Another parking garage. You've got the skyway cutting down through here. And of course you have the uh, the unescapable uh, palm trees. And of course, you know, what uh, area around the courthouse wouldn't be complete uh, without a Greyhound bus station. And you can see the Acosta Bridge. And then of course you can see the worst part of the um, of the area. 
and you can kind of see that the courthouse was really built, at least on this side, in a somewhat, um, you know, I guess you, some might call it a transitional area. Uh, transitional area. I'm sure that there'll eventually be some construction. Uh, and I don't know about the site on this. I mean, the, this tower here has been uh, around, I know, since I was a kid. So uh, I don't know if one envisioned whether it makes sense to build a building like this next to a tower that tall. Um, but that's just my, my thought on it. You know, I guess really the courthouse is a symbol of Jacksonville. Maybe it's a symbol of the United States in the sense of where it's placed and what's going on right now. You've got this big facade. What does all, all of it do? You know, you know, you have all the superficial and beautiful, I will say beautiful lighting, uh, street ornamental lighting. There's a new parking garage here and, you know, the palm trees. But then you have the, you know, the absolute, you know, ugliness. I mean, this big tower here, which I'm sure does a great job for whatever it does. You have these, you know, broken up, cracked sidewalks. You have these parking meters that, you know. Uh... So, a lot of money spent on one building. Uh, not enough money spent, apparently, on all the furniture that was supposed to go in it. Now they're trying to get, trying to spend the money to get the furniture to fill the rooms for this grandiose building behind me um, in, 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 in an environment that is rather dismal. I don't know. You looked at the 50s, the old courthouse was on the river, part of the city hall complex. There was some vision. I don't know how much vision there was when this courthouse was plopped down here. Obviously, Mayor Brown didn't have a role in building this. Uh, I think he's trying to control costs, and that I admire. Um, I don't know, maybe the money could be best utilized elsewhere. Maybe we could have done more with the courthouse on the river. Maybe, you know, we want to open up some apartments, condos, or possible development on the river that maybe some people make some money off of. Hopefully, uh, it would be affordable housing, but who knows. But I'll ultimately, maybe it'll just be demolished. Maybe it'll end up like this, this an abandoned or, or a, uh, a uh, more of a dilapidated parking lot area. I don't know. But uh, there's an old saying from the Bible. I don't like to quote from the Bible. I'm an, ag I'm an agnostic. Uh, but there's a line in the Bible where there is no vision, the people perish. All right. Uh, we're going through tough times. And maybe this is a symbol. I don't know. When I first saw it, I um, thought that, uh, you know, uh, I thought to Rome. I thought to Caesar, I guess. And the grandiose, you know, the notion of... Um, and I guess the, the pillars and all of the classical imagery, you know, call upon that in your mind. Uh, but I think that this would even make Caesar blush. And at least Caesar, when he built, at least in the areas around his palaces and his courthouses and his buildings, gave thought to the environment. I think there's vision out there. I think that hopefully that in future projects, the building, what will go into the building will be thought about, that spending won't be as reckless, that things will be fit to scale, and certainly the buildings will, you know, around the uh, courthouse will be improved. People will feel uh, and have a safe walk and safe parking uh, to do uh, what they have to do with the county. And uh, I hope that if I do ever end up in this building, it will be for good reasons or good causes. All right, a special report on the left turn, a chance for me to talk about what I see here in Jacksonville. There'll be more of these types of reports from time to time uh, on YouTube. And uh, so thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.